Sorry about that. I was trying to unmute myself. Um, I was just listening to an interview from Will Healy, and he said that a guy like you doesn't need a coach, that you are self-motivated, that you can have, you know, you can kind of coach yourself up. Where does that motivation come from? Have you always been kind of a, a self-starter and a go-getter in that way? Um, yeah, you know, I feel like you know, I've always been a self-motivated guy, you know, me being a walk-on and something like that as well. And, you know, you know, for me, um, you know, my faith is what's, you know, most important in my life. So, you know, I'm a Christian first and foremost, you know, I really feel like, you know, I, you know, get that motivation from God, you know, to just um, be the best that I can be at everything I do. You know, he's blessed me with this uh, amazing gift to play football. And so, you know, I do whatever I can every day to um, just, you know, make the most of it and just give, give it all back to him. So, you know, that's really where, where my motivation comes from. Noah Strackburn, the Maven. Hey, sorry, Alex was trying to unmute myself there. Um, so coming into Pittsburgh, obviously they lost a couple of special teams guys, but you said that, you know, you're more than willing to fill that role. How do you feel about, you know, stepping into a smaller role, but in Pittsburgh, it's a major contribution that they look for? Oh, you know, I'm so excited to, you know, special teams is something, you know, that I take pride in, you know, I know how important it is. Um, to, to winning games, how key it is, you know. So I felt like that's something. Another thing that I definitely bring to the table, you know, is that I'm a, uh, you know, I'm a great special teams guy. You know, that's something you know that I did uh, to earn my role at Charlotte. You know, my first two years, I played kickoff, playing kickoff return. Um, so you know, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. You know, to um, whatever role I got to play, you know, to help this team, team win games. Um, that's what that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm so excited, you know, to be able to play special teams and uh, you know, play outside backers. So I'm just ready to learn so much and just just can't wait. Brian Batko, Post Gazette. Hey, Alex, how you doing? How you doing, Brian? Good. Um, it's good to meet you here over Zoom. Uh, I guess you know everyone's kind of knows your story as being a, a smaller school guy and someone who started as a walk-on. And I know you played for a different coaching staff last season. Did you have uh, opportunities to maybe transfer to a bigger school after a, a junior year when you were all conference? And, and if so, what kind of made you want to stay at Charlotte? Um, you know, I really don't think, you know, transfer is really in my mind, um, you know, because, you know, first, first off, you know, I still, it was my fifth year um, to, to be able to graduate, so um, I would I feel like a grad transfer, which, you know, um, you know, Charlotte, you know, I felt like it was a place I needed to be, um, you know, so no matter what was going on, you know, I was going to stay, um, I never, no, no thought of transferring ever creeped up into my mind, so, um, no, like, like I said, you know, I'm just so thankful and blessed to be a part of um, such an amazing team we, with Coach Healy last year, you know, just for us to, you know, go to our first bowl game in school history was just so amazing, just so blessed to be part of that team. So, um, yeah, transferring really never creeped up into my head, but, you know, um, I, just, I was just glad to be on that team last year. Mike Prezuda, DVE. Hey, Alex, uh, I'm curious, so sticking with the walk-on theme, uh, you, you start out uh, as a no-star walk-on, and, and Mike Tomlin said last night you're going to be hunting Heisman Trophy winning quarterbacks in the AFC North. I wonder if you've given any thought to where this is all ultimately headed. Yeah, I have. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be awesome you know, to play against you know, um, those good, great quality, quality, caliber uh, quarterbacks. You know, I'm just so excited you know, to get after them. And um, I remember it was our freshman year. Um, we played Louisville and Lamar Jackson absolutely smoked us. So hoping to get some revenge here soon. So uh, I, just, I just can't wait, you know, to to be able to play against um, these NFC, the trip, these these AFC North teams. So I just can't wait to get after them. Jenna Harner, PXI. Hey, Alex, um, what does it mean to you? You know, your story is just such an interest, interesting one going from a walk on to being where you are now. What does it mean to you that, you know, you're finally drafted? Has it sunken in for you yet? Uh, um, it's, I, I still don't think it has, you know, especially last night. You know, it felt so surreal last night. Um, it's just, you know, it's just so awesome, you know, to you see how far I've come. You know, I can really attribute it to things, you know, God's grace and my work ethic. You know, that's, that's really it. You know, that's what I tell people. And, um, you know, it's just so cool, you know, see how far I've come, you know, if you look at my pictures from my freshman year of high school, especially in my sophomore year of high school, you know, um, no one would have thought that I'd be in this position that I am now, not even me. Um, so just 
I mean, I'm just so thankful and blessed to be to be this opportunity. So blessed to be part of this organization. So um, the work the work just starts now. So it's just the beginning. And like I said earlier, I can't wait to get to work. Chris Adamski, Trib. Hi, I just wanted to see how much aware are you, or have you become more aware of the past twelve hours about the, the kind of the, the Steelers? There's been a long tradition going back decades of linebackers, and particularly outside linebackers. This has been kind of the, the glory position on the defense and everything. And uh, are you aware at all of the Steelers and their history or anything, especially your, your position? Um, you know, I'm not. Um, I am aware. You know, recently, um, recent history. You know, James Harris. You know, is you know one of the goats, and so. Um, you know, definitely know about him. You know what what TJ Watt and what the crew have been doing. So, you know, I, like I said, I, um, I don't think I uh, said it on here, but you know, I, I grew up a Panthers fan, and so um, I didn't really know as much about the Steelers. But you know, I, I'm excited to learn about their history and you know, just learn about the the great linebackers that have came through here. And so, you know, just hoping that could uh, be another great one for this franchise. Chris Adamski, Trib. 